be putting on is my base just because I'm not using too many eyeshadows so I should be okay with fallout and I'm going back in with my BB cream which I showed in my last get ready with me it's definitely become a favorite of mine I can't believe how good it is considering how cheap it is so I'm reaching for it again and just in case you didn't know it's the beauty essentials flawless BB cream so you can get these at Priceline. I said in my last video that I got it for $3 or something, but that's because it was on sale. It's normally around $7 or $8, I believe. So on sale, you definitely get a big discount on it, but still, I would still pay $7 or $8 for this. It's just so good. So that's what I'm going to be using today. Also, don't mind the little pimple on my chin. If you've seen my blog post, you know all about it, why it's there, but let's just ignore it, pretend it's not there, because it's just... <sighs> going to go in with some concealer because as you can see my under eye circles are a little bad today I must have had a bad night's sleep or something but I'm just going to pop this just on the inner corner just to lighten it up a bit I don't want to drag it all the way out because that's when it gets a little bit heavy so just right there will do And then to finish the entire face up, I'm just going to go in with some powder. Normally I don't use powder with this BB cream, I think it's fine, but because I've used the concealer under my eyes, I just want to set it in that kind of area so it doesn't all slide everywhere throughout the day. So I'm just using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural and I'm in the color medium. I used to absolutely hate this product, but I'm getting there, I'm getting there. <laughs> I love how I said I'm just going to apply it in this area and now I'm just going all over my face, but whatever. Okay, now I'm going to skip straight to doing my eyebrows just because I'm really insecure about them now because they're growing out, so they look like crap. So I'm going to do them quickly and as always, I'm just using my sleek brow kit, which looks like this. Um, I'm kind of interested in trying something different. I kind of use this all the time, so if anyone has any recommendations. I actually prefer the wax side compared to the powder side, so it'd probably be better if it was a waxy kind of product. So if anyone has any recommendations for me to try something new, leave them down in the comments down below, because I'd like to try something new. Not that this is anything bad, but I just kind of want to try something new and see if it works too. <laughs> So now my brows are done and sorry I totally should have zoomed you guys in so you could see but now I'm going to move on to doing my eyeshadow. So I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see. So on my eyes today I'm going to be using two sleek eye palettes. I wish they were in the same palette but there's two separate colours that I want to be using. So this one here is the Ultra Mattes and this one I haven't used too often in my videos but you'll see why in a second when I open it. It has all these neon bright colours in it. I'm going to be taking the yellow from this one as a base colour. And then from the Garden of Eden palette, which you guys have seen, I really like this one. Um, I'm going to be taking these two shimmery greens right here. So the idea is to kind of make it a little bit more neon than this green, but still I wanted to have that shimmer to it. So that's why I'm layering the two shadows. But before I put those on, I'm going to be putting a little base on so it sticks to something. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the tip of this brush here so I have more of a precise application of it. And I'm just going to place this on my inner corner. So just exactly where I'm going to be putting the green and this will help it again make it more opaque. So now with that on, I'm going to be going in with the bright yellow. So I'm just using a tiny little brush like this one, just so I have a nice precise application. But 
I'm just going to take a little bit of that and you really don't need much of that product. You can see how much is on that brush already. So be a little bit careful with these eyeshadows. There's a lot of payoff with them. And I'm just going to place that on the white. going to flip the side of this brush onto the other side so the side that has no product onto it and I'm going to be taking one of these greens here now I think I'll be mixing the two just because they're right in between what I need them to be so this one's nice and bright but I like the tone of this one so I'm going to mix the two and kind of make my own and then I'm just going to place that over the yellow and this will add that nice kind of shimmery look to it lid color just to tone it down even more than that I'm going to be taking this taupey color here now I'm only going to use it very lightly I don't want to add too much on the eyes and make it really top heavy so I'm just going to take that taupey color very very lightly and just blend it all over the lid like I said I don't want to take away too much but I just want to add a little bit of definition to the outer corner so it's not just so heavy all towards the inner corner crease I just want to blend it out a little bit more I think it just needs a little something to warm up the taupe so I'm actually going to take my bronzer on the tip of my blending brush and just lightly apply it just so it has more of a warm tone to blend it out with Now I'm going to be using my Sleek Twist Up Eye Pencil and I'm just going to line my waterline and my tight line. This will just add a little bit of definition so I don't know, I'm just saying it. <laughs> I'm just going to do it because it looks good. Now before I put on some false eyelashes, I'm going to put on some mascara. The reason why I do this is because my natural lashes point straight, so if I put false lashes on top of them, I'm going to have two sets of eyelashes going different ways, so this way it kind of curls them in the direction that the false lashes are going to go. So I'll do that quickly, I'm not going to focus too much on making them look super long or anything because that's what the falsies are for. But like I said, this is just to kind of pull them in the direction so that they blend in a little bit easier. Now for false lashes, like I said, and I'm going to be using these Don't Get Caught Lashless. I found these at iMats last year. They were like $2, so I grabbed them because they were so cheap. And as you can see, they're just really wispy. I haven't actually worn them yet, so I don't know if I should be saying I like them because I don't actually know how they look on, but they should be okay. <laughs>
So that's how the eyelashes look. That was such a nightmare because this one here, I bent the inner corner of it. So it's sitting a little funny, but you can totally see how it looks with false eyelashes. I think that false eyelashes definitely make or break a look. They make it either so much better or they make it so much worse. And in this case, I definitely think it makes it look a lot better. I think it takes a little bit of the focus from the inner corner and just kind of makes it more girly again. So that's the eyes completely done. I'm pretty happy with how they turned out considering it is such a bright color and I normally don't do bright colors. So done pretty good so far. Now I'm just going to move on and do my cheeks. Originally I was going to do a nice soft peachy color, but I think I'll just stick to my bronzer because again, there's so much color going on in my inner corner. It's very heavy towards the center. So I don't want to put on too much color around the rest of my face. So most of the focus is here. I don't want to bring focus everywhere else. So again, I'm just going in with my bronzer and this is the Australis bronzing powder in Sunkissed. This is the old packaging. I actually posted on my Instagram the new packaging which I really don't like but my friend Laura at work she had one of these that she never used so she gave it to me so that was pretty cute we can do our lips. I feel like I've taken forever to do such a simple look so I'm sorry if it's taking forever but I'm just going to go really neutral and really nude so I'm first going to line my lips with the NYX natural pencil which just has a very natural tone to it like it suggests and then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline lipstick in tantalizing taupe which is just a really nice kind of mid-tone nude. It's not super pale or super dark it's just very very neutral. it for the entire look so I really really am liking this pop of neon yellowy green on the inner corner it looks so cool especially because it's just going to spring it's just very very brightening it, it really lifts my mood I feel really happy to have this just on my inner corner I don't know why but it just really lifts my mood so I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out Same. 